We'll see how this goes. Uh, playing some more pit boost only. Got our boy. Looks like this is Timothy. He's probably going DFA then. I mean, he has HFI in his name, so maybe he's going Heli Farm Ace, but we don't want to anti stall since we have Sniper. I don't think it's worth. Um, placement, though. I'm going to use a pretty unorthodox boat spot. Now, this is, like, not a good starter boat spot, but what it will do is it will stall the rounds. Because if I place my boat up here, that's going to kind of anti-stall, which is not what we want. So, yeah. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel or just haven't done already, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. We are currently 80 subs away from hitting 71,000 subs, which would then get us 71% of the way to our ultimate goal of reaching 100,000 subs, which is something I've been chasing for a really long time. And would truly appreciate it if we could somehow get that plaque in my hands. So... Let's make it happen. I think he does have heli. Yeah, it might be HFA though. This is not an ice map. Ice sucks on this map, so it's probably heli farm ace or heli farm bill. I guess it's gonna be one of those. I would imagine. We'll see. It's gonna be hard for him to anti stall with heli on this map, so I should be able to get a really strong eco. And because of that, I kind of want to use a really weird second boat spot that's gonna stall out the round. But that's only if he rushes me. He's not really rushing, so I think we're just fine. He went straight for his quad darts, which is a fair play. Um, I played one warm-up game before this and got, um, and I just died to literally eco blooms. So I, d I didn't think that was really uh, post worthy in my opinion. And I mean, it's my channel. I can post whatever games I want. And I do upload losses. It's not like I don't upload losses. I see those bozos in the comments all the time. I'm like, shut up, bro. All right. So he does get his plantation up and he's trying to anti-stall this. He might be effective at it as well. Let's see how quick this round is. Yeah, he anti-stalled that round. So really well played on his end. I'm only going to have 400 eco going to round six, which isn't great. Is he going to aggro around six? My defense sucks, bro. You might as well send. Yep, there's the aggression. There is the aggression. So now I'm kind of forced to get up a second quad darts because I picked this abysmal grape shot spot so that I could get some eco. And now we're kind of paying the price. Let's see how he defends. He still just has quad darts. He's played this pretty flawlessly. I need to force like a Reza Rotas or something. I'm going to put this on last real quick because I want that to an not anti stall I want I want Bloons to get past that grip shot. There we go. So he has Heli Farm Glue. I don't know why I didn't think about that. That just makes way more sense than Heli Farm Ice. But he does have HFI in his name, so you never really know. I think I, if I eco, he might just die right here, bro. I don't think I can eco much more than this, though, because now I have to prepare for round 13. So we'll call it here for eco. And dude, my boat's too OP up here, man. There we go. Get past that grape shot. Yeah, he ain't shit. Yeah, get past him. All right. Now we save up for our sniper, which I will get over here if I can place it. This is a cool placement. There we go. Might get aggroed on round nine. I think he'll just play past the bank, though. Yeah. My loadout's pretty face up. It's be expected that i have sniper ace in this situation his farms are solid i can't afford to aggro around 11 because then i just die to a big rush round 13 so also round 11 rushes are somewhat difficult so how are we going to handle that asian i think we just go for let's just go for triple grape shot if he aggro's on this upcoming round i don't expect an aggression yeah wow his farms are crazy good my life count's good. My eco's decent. It's not bad. He's just farming like crazy, dude. All right, let's just send that. It's it's like mostly eco balloons, but I want to force a rotors with camo, obviously. So that's that. We got our semi-auto. If you allow it to get 0.50 in boost, then I hope that's enough. Not, I don't honestly don't think it will defend. We can always sell for an ODS and boost too. That's another play. So he's trying to go for a BIA right here, I think. He won't get it this round, but round 14, he'll definitely get it. I mean, late game, I kind of like our odds, though. But him getting a round 14 BI is pretty scary, because then he's going to be able to aggro kind of hard. More than I would like. So he's getting a second heli up, prepped. We can sell these for 2200 So I could technically go for my supply drop right now, but I'm going to wait till he gets his BIA, and then I'll go for mine, I think. Uh, sell these for, what is that, 11 12 We're just going to go for it. Let's go for it. So he goes for his BIA as well. Do we get punish rushed? Do we get punish rushed? I don't think we will. I'm gonna bloom boost and just see if it baits a glue hose. Let's see. Glue hose? No glue hose. Buddy didn't fall for the bait. Glue hose? Get your glue hose, man. 
He don't, he don't care. Timothy HFI don't care. Interesting. Okay, well... He's just chilling with his BIA over there. Surely this does some damage, right? Okay, he just doesn't care. Okay. Well, let's just keep farming out our snipers, I guess. Don't know what else to do at this point. We will likely have to defend a Moab on this upcoming round, though. So I'm going to get this guy on last. That's going to be uh, 8 against, basically, 8 against layered lead rushes behind the Moab. So he definitely sends a Moab. So I'm going to triple spike that just preemptively. Get that. Expect a Moab here. No Moab, bro? Alright, fine. I guess I sniper farm then, in that case. If you want to let me sniper farm, go ahead, bro. So we're fine. I, I don't know why he's playing full pass. Like, dude. I literally just out late game you. I don't know why you would play full pass here. It kind of blows my mind. You don't have a pocket super monkey, bro. I know you don't. <laughs> uh, We have to defend around 20 big rushes, but like... Destroy spam will do a good amount of damage. I will need to... I think I can actually afford to go for another one of these. Like, if he just sends me a bunch of fast cooldown mobs, all that really does is it tanks his eco. Sure, it can force defense, maybe force a boost, but I shouldn't really need boost late game. Like, aircraft carriers plus sniper plus ace is so strong late game. Do I get sent to BFB here? If we get sent to BFB, we actually want to micro these all into last so that my snipers don't pop it before it turns into mobs. So yeah, we can put these on last. There we go. And first, first, first. And we can just boat pull this, actually. It's fine. And put you on... Oh, God. This will defend. It's not pretty, but it defends. Nice rush, nice rush. I can send him a sneaky camera rush next round as well. If I want to go crazy. So we want this on last, strong, strong. Yep, we're going to send a little rush here. Round 22 is about to start, so we'll send him... I don't know why I'm sending him regular leads right now. That's kind of dumb, but... End the round, bro. I'm trying to get a sneaky camera rush in here. So it looks like I'm just ecoing, right? Just ecoing. End the round, bro. What is this? Is this round going to end, man? All right, so now we go like this. And this will force a downdraft minimum. See how he defends to put. Yeah, because for the downdraft. I'm alright with that. And we force. Oh, he's dead. What? I saw death. I saw death, man. What is his play here, though, bro? I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do. Triple VIA is kind of crazy, though. I mean, you can only. He just leaks. He's going from cool. How many BIA is going for, bro? What the heck? This man's the BIA king over here. There's no points on MBFB here, by the way. Or his UMG. At all. Just gonna go like this. Keep, keep getting these lads up. Okay. If he sends just a regular BFB, honestly, we should just solo with 0.50 on all these guys and them on first. We might try some weird layer, though, if that does happen. Wouldn't surprise me. I have all my boosts, too. We can always boost. I don't want to boost against a BFB. That'd be annoying. But if it's like a big rush, maybe get crazy. All right, I'm going to send a low rush here. Because I don't think your current defense holds here. I really don't. I don't trust it. So we're going to send a bunch of pinks here. Because I think the camos might just kill him. He might need a glue strike this. You're dead. You're actually dead, I'm pretty sure. You're dead. I see leaks. Yeah, we get a boost. Ideal. Got a boost out of him. That's all I was looking for there. Obviously, death would have been good. But we'll set up for a boost. He just leaked again. Like, what? Now he's going for an Apache, it looks like. Okay, this might be GG. He actually might die here. Am I good, bro? Yeah, we're good. Is he? I think he's dead, dude. I saw death again, bro. Oh, rip. That is rip, man. Well, that's an annoying way to win. Like, I, I still think I win that late game, but unlucky for him, man. Okay. Space Station, no thank you. Asian Space Station is going to sit in the vault for a little longer. Swan Lake, my, my, probably my favorite water map. This is the offside of water maps. Good luck. 
I don't know the optimal eco start on this. I keep forgetting it, but this should be a good game. I, I love this map, dude. It's literally the DFA offside equivalent for water maps. It's so fun. I love this map. Best water map in the game. People used to clown on this map, myself included, but now I appreciate greatness, baby. Okay, let's start off with a farm here. We can go for a 1-0 farm, but I'm actually just going to start with a Buccaneer if I can hit the placement. Can't get the placement. Can't get the placement. Can't get the placement. Trying my hardest to get the placement. There we go. And of course, I know the freaking placement trick, you annoying noobs in comments that I'm just waiting to see. Cut. So yeah, that's, that's kind of unlucky. Couldn't fit that placement, and it's just going to hurt me a lot here. It's unfortunate. So he's got a, like two banana advantage on me, probably. Maybe one. I don't know, but... It's way more difficult to hit this placement on left side than it is on right side. I don't know why. It's just how the game was coded. It's pretty unfortunate, especially as difficult as Moab place or mobile placements already are. But yeah, he's probably got a little bit head start on me eco wise or banana wise. Uh, he's gonna greed for the plantation here. It looks like I'll get mine around five, but. Yeah, you went for it. We'll bloom boost this. This will actually get good leaks. This will get really good leaks. Plus, I'll just be able to get mine up on round five anyways. So this will be like free leaks. He's going to finally start rushing me with some pinks. Well done. But I'll get my round five full bananas. He used a spike as well, so note that. Like, if I use a spike, then we're technically even. But I'm not going to burn a spike. I save my spikes in this game mode. Unless I'm at like 10 lives, I, I'm going to save my spikes for stuff like Moabs and Ceramics. He'll likely get his farm in right now. Yep. Kind of to be expected. And I just have to... I have to send him a few blocks here. Bloom boosting's not a bad play either. He, he should bloom boost blocks at me if he has a brain. And he, I know he does. For some reason, he's playing full passive though. Okay, I'm going to get this up. Try this spot out. Live count, we're actually ahead of him. But he will start to outfarm us a little by little. I'm going to go for my 1-0 farm here and save up for my Grape Shot in a second as well. So we'll get a Grape Shot momentarily. Yep. My Grape Shot's a freaking beast down there. What a god. What a god, man. So live count's uh, getting close to even now because I don't have faster shooting on this big boy. But I do have all my spikes, and I know he's down at least one spike. So that's one thing we have going for us. It's unlikely he sends us a big yellow rush, and he's like, unless he has like Boomer or something. He's not playing like someone who would have Boat Farm Boomer, though, would play. So we'll likely get our farm same time, and I think he's going to have a little bit leftover cash. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, Let's go ahead and get... Oh, wow, that's greedy. That is greedy. We'll send a big yellow rush here. This is going to be deadly. Yep, there's the tower boost. He's playing full greed right now. And I mean, it'll if it pays off and he gets a BIA pretty early, like props to you, man. But I'm going to be playing fairly aggressive here. He's glue. Oh, yeah. I forgot these weird pro players like going both farm glue. And I, I don't get it. Maybe it's because I haven't faced it. I don't know if it's actually good or not. But I just have a feeling it's just not good. But we'll see. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. Okay. Glue splatty. I'll solo that, actually. It's nicely done. He's banking right now. Okay, this is an easy bloom boost spot. Bloom boost here. I'm fine using my last bloom boost, by the way. Totally fine with this. Because he might just die. He needs spikes. This is where having spikes is really good. Yeah, you're dead. He gets a boost off, but now he basically has to all out me. Because if he doesn't, he's just dead to a rerush. Uh, I guess he could maybe defend a rerush, but... One way to find out, right? So here's how you do it. You send like this and then a couple camos in there. And then a region rainbow. Goes for glue ability. So this drained him. I mean, we got us. We got him to do a ton of stuff. And now if he all outs me, I can, I think, afford triple destroyer. At least double destroyer on boost. So that's fine. He still got the bank up. Oh, no, I meant I sent the wrong rush. I sent the wrong rush. This is supposed to be a grouped one. There we go. All right, instant tower boost. Dude, how did he re-get up the bank? What is this game, first of all? What is, what is this game, bro? All right, this is when he's going to rush me. Yeah, I knew it. 
Okay. Is he out of boost, bro? Like, this forces glue ability again. We need glue ability here. Okay. Get Crow's Nest here. Dude, how? How did you freaking bank that? What is this? Dude, I... I sent stupid rushes, bro. I just sent him stupid rushes. Playing like an idiot. What am I... How... Why am I playing the way I am, bro? I'm so bad at this game, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, we definitely got sent to Moab here. This is when triple spike is useful. Unless he's just greeting for BIA. It's looking like he's greeting for BIA. Never mind, he's going to do that. Okay. Let me go like this. Should defend. Why is that, like, not damaged? We're good. He's going for another one. Interesting. And we'll just boost this one. He's like aggroing for some reason, dude. His glue can reach AI? What? Huh? What a beast, bro. Why did I get double Bernie, dude? I think I'm just dead doing all out next round, dude. I just am. I'm just dead doing all out. See ya. He knows it. Yeah. I literally just have to go like this. Okay. Yeah, that sucks, bro. Unlucky, man. That's so annoying, bro. Well played, I guess. Both farm glues got... It's like the biggest meme strat. It just baited me into sending stupid rushes. GG. Dang. That I could stop the bank, but... Somehow, I, I'm just mind blown at the fact that he was able to sell his bank. Like, us forcing bank sell is amazing. But the fact that he was able to still get it up again before the end of round, it's like, it just blows my mind. It blows my mind. All right, this is just a Ninja Ice Glue map. If you want to go round 50, let's do it. Jeez Louise, bro. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen Boat Farm Glue. I, just, I still don't think it's better than Mortar. I really don't, but... Yep, here comes the freaking annoying... I'm not playing this. We're going around 50 if this is actually what's about to go down. By the way. No, he does have farms. Okay. Also, I used, like, one of the worst ice spots in the game. I don't know why I use that. I'm just bad at the game today, dude. It's a skill issue. And he's double spiking. To anti stall, and he has he's going straight for a spolt. All right, this is interesting. He's going full anti stall uh, DFA. Should be fun. Maybe a super, unlikely, but dude, my man has HFI in his name, and he hasn't gotten HFI once in our three games. Interesting. See, that's gonna be the anti stall trip dart at the bottom right. We're fine here. I have to have a good double ice but i just don't unfortunately this spot sucks i don't know why i used it we'll try to make it work but i don't think it's gonna go super well if he even sends pinks he might just play full pass yeah he's playing full pass fair enough um should go for a ninja here i mean it's pretty obvious i have ninja in this set instance my loadout's pretty face up. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. I've never had to play against someone who actually knows how to anti-stall. And that looks like what he's going to be doing here. So really well done. There's nothing I can do to break that. Nicely played. Anti-stall, if you don't know, I'll put it on screen. But not many people utilize it. Unless you're a pro player like Tim. And he's a very, very strong player. So Sells the trip dart to farm? What? Yeah, enjoy. What is this? What is this greed play? What are you doing? There's no way that's optimal. I'm sorry. Is it? There's no way that's optimal, dude. You just leaked like 80 lives. And now you no longer anti-stall. You got rid of your anti-stall spot, which is interesting. I don't know if he plans to get it back up or what. I'll still be able to get like 500 eco here. Maybe he plans on sending me a massive rush next round. Also a possibility. 
So let's go ahead and let's get this up up here. My loadout is officially face up now. It's on close in case he tries anything cheeky. Get ready to double ice. Double ice will defend everything. Okay. We're okay for now. But yeah, this is all I can do for Eco. Because now I got to prepare for round 13. Round 11 as well. So we'll get a flash bomb. Uh, Glue House actually is just better for any rush he wants to send before round 13. Do we get aggro down right here? Keep in mind, Tim is like a top top three to five player in the game right now. Arguably. So it's not expected that we're supposed to win these games. How are his farms so good? Wow. Pretty impressed by your farming skills, my guy. Send you a couple leads. Get ready to get up a flash bomba. Look at that boy down here. Glue is probably just better though, huh? Yeah, around 11 rush, we just go glue hose. It's not rushing though. He's just gonna go for another farm. Hoping to force a spool tier or something. Yeah, there we go. Get that up. Get this up. And I feel like I have Rico, so now I'm terrified. <laughs> um Yeah, this'll be fun. If he just all me with camos, I think I just die. I'm just dead. Alright. I think I'm just dead, dude. He's on pace for around 14 BIA, too. Yikes, man. This is a yikes. This is a big yikes. I just don't have money, dude. It's not looking too good for us. Like I said, I'm worried about these random rushes that he could send. He just leaked to seven lives. How? Nunny? Yeah, round 14 BIA. Well played. Um, I could get a boost here, I think. Let's try it. I think I can get a boost here. Yeah, that's a boost for sure. You're dead. GG's. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Remember to drop a like below. Hit that subscribe button. JK, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine. All right, now we send this, force a cash out and a double jug here, hopefully. Or, yeah, you cash out for that for sure. All right, I'm content with that. We got a boost and cash out. That's great. My eco could be a lot better though. My eco kind of sucks, but it's okay. We'll be okay, man. You got around 14 BIA, cash it out though. Still really good. I need a... Um... I need to get up the balloon jutsu for round 18. Ugh, I just don't have eco. I really just don't have eco. It's a tough spot, dude. Now, I think we can actually greed against a Moab, but if he layers with like region leads or something behind it, then it gets a little bit interesting. It's a little bit interesting. I guess he just doesn't want to rush me here, huh? That's fine. That's fine. Let me get some eco then, brother. Double ice offset. Okay, I think he sends me a Moab here. Because he's going to try to blend it with AI. Because the AI Moabs, or AI leads come now. So we go like this. This way, leads can't sneak by over here. You know what I'm saying? He wisely gets up a second jug, so I can't do the same towards him. And he's likely getting a second BIA this round. Maybe next round. He might get a second BIA this round. Yep, easy reads. Well played, Timothy. Knows what he's doing, man. 1300 eco is not terrible. Okay, he just gets that up. That's crazy. All right, this should be a boost, actually. I think this is a boost. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. He might be dead here. Yeah, you're dead, I think. Sells his jug to get another... Yeah, you're dead. GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What? Yeah. <laughs> Remember, drop a little hit the subscribe button. Let's do this one. Bye!